Hi everyone, Mahar Haddad here. So uh, in this uh, new video, I would like to show you how we can configure the uh, hotspot and how we can, in case someone just uh, connect to the hotspot without he put the username and password, how can he still use WhatsApp? So I want to keep WhatsApp operational. Even though that someone who connect to the hotspot on Microtech, he doesn't have a username and password, but just because he entered to the wireless, then he can still use WhatsApp. So why I need to do that? Because you may happen that uh, you want, uh, for example, to sell vouchers uh, on your hotspot, and uh, you want uh, people to write you on WhatsApp that uh, we are connected, can you provide us vouchers so you can sell your vouchers? Or maybe you can just want to give a free service to your a community just to allow them to use WhatsApp. And the one which is gonna work only is the WhatsApp text. So that means the video calls and the, the uh, voice calls will not work. So you just uh, uh, let uh, them connect to the wireless without they put username and password of the hotspot, then they can have WhatsApp working. So this is what we are going to do. I have only one Microtech router now. I'm going to install on it the hotspot. We do it uh, very fast because this uh, video is not to talk about how to install a hotspot. If you want to know how to install a hotspot on the Microtech, I do have a course which you can uh, enroll on this course and I go through everything that you need to know about hotspot on Microtech. So I'm going to show you how uh, we can uh, then uh, have uh, the configuration to allow WhatsApp to work on the uh, hotspot, even though that you did not uh, allow or the user did not put the username and password, he can still work on the WhatsApp. And then I'm going to make a test to see if everything is going to work. So let's get started and go directly to the Microtech router to make the configuration. So this is my Microtech router. If you see here on the wireless, I'm going to make the hotspot on the wireless and to connect to my phone to the wireless to see if it's going to work. So I do have two um, uh, wireless line, one which is 2.4 and one 5 gigahertz. Um, let's uh, use, uh, we can use any of those. You can use both if you want. You can put them inside the bridge and run the hotspot on uh, that bridge. But uh, let's uh, use uh, for now to make it simple. I will use the 2.4 gigahertz. So I will go to that one. And the uh, first thing I want to do is just to see um, which frequencies are being uh, used around me. So I don't use a frequency which is overlapping with uh, the frequencies which are used in my neighbors. So you can see that uh, at this moment I see 2472 is the least one used. So I would take that one, 2472. So over here I have to say it's an access point bridge. I'm going to use only N and uh, 2472. I'm going to leave the SSID to be Microtech. And of course, over here, you can put uh, the countries. In my case, I'm putting here the Netherlands. In case you are in another country, just put your country over here. And you can say that it is an indoor. And that's it. That's all what you need to do from the wireless side. And then I'll say apply. Also, I have to enable it because it is disabled by default. So that is now done. Now I'm going to make the hotspot. So first, we have to put an IP address on that interface. I'm going to use a range. Let's use something like 192.168.1.1, for example. We put it on the uh, wireless, so WLAN 1. Now we have to run the hotspot on this WLAN 1. Let's do that. So we go to IP, hotspot, and over here uh, you have the servers. We we'll just click on the hotspot setup. Again, this is not a video to show or to speak about how to do all the installation of the hotspot on all of those set tabs that you see here. So that is uh, not uh, the video uh, meant to be for this. It's just to show you how we can run WhatsApp even though that you don't have a user authenticated on the hotspot. So we click on hotspot setup and we run the hotspot on the WLAN 1 as we have said. I'm going to use, of course, the, has detected the range of IP from the interface. We make the masquerade, so which is the net. So it's going to give IPs from 10.2 to 10.254, that's fine. I'm not going to use any certificate for now. I'm not going to use any SMTP server. Those are the DNS, that's fine. And the DNS name, you can use whatever the uh, uh, domain name you want, but please do not use .com or .net or whatever, because this can make confusion for the Microtech router. Uh, because it may happen that uh, the domain you're using with .com is being a commercial domain, so it will make problems for your uh, hotspot. So I'm, normally I use something like home.local because this is just installed at home now, and I'm done. Very good. So now the hotspot is uh, running. 
So if you want, I can just uh, go to my phone and to see uh, if I can connect to the hotspot. Before I do that, we have to create a user. So let's create a user and I'll call it user1 with a password of user1. So this is just a simple user. Now I will go to my phone. I just want to see if I uh, my hotspot is working for the moment. So um, let's put the, the picture so you can see here. So you can see I have this MicroTik sign in is required. So I click on it. Here we go. It says now uh, sign in. So you click on it. It takes you to the portal of MicroTik. Over here you have to put the username and the password, which is user1 with password user1 connect and here we go we are connected now we are able to go to the internet and yeah because this is, this is what hotspot is so i can go to the internet do whatever i want now what i want to do now is just to forget this one that i just connected with and um, let's go to the uh, mic the router i will remove the user one and uh, the active session this one i will remove it the host i will remove it so uh, we don't have anything also the cookies we have to remove it right so because i don't want anymore now that if i connect to the uh, hotspot from my phone that it takes me to user one so now the hotspot doesn't have any user and uh, doesn't have any uh, active uh, user and yeah the cookies is taken out and uh, that's it so now is if my phone is trying to connect then um, it will uh, ask to put the username and the password. I'm not going to put any username and the password, but I want that the WhatsApp to work. So how can I do that? What you can do, you have to go to Wallet Garden. Over here, you make plus and you say allow. So here, when we say allow, we have to go to the destination host. And here I have to say star and then whatsapp.com. And then the port you have to put 443 so that's what you need to do allow whatsapp.com 443 inside the wallet garden what is wallet garden is that means that you can use the whatsapp application even though that you are not authenticated to whatsapp so that's uh, done now i will copy on it the another one because we have to do two so one which is uh, star whatsapp.com uh, or asterisk whatsapp.com and one is whatsapp.net and that's it so now we have those two very good. Let's go now to my phone again and uh, see if we are able to connect to uh, the wireless of uh, WhatsApp. Let's do that. So um, let's put uh, the phone in front of you so you can see. So this is MicroTik. I just click on MicroTik. It's connecting and here we go. Now it asks me to put the username and password. I'm not going to put a username and password. So you see I'm just uh, logging to or uh, connected to the wireless but I don't put any username and password on the hotspot. So now, technically speaking, that uh, I don't have internet. So if you want, I do have an application, which is uh, this one, uh, the ping. And if we try now to ping to a.a.a.a, .a .a .a, you can see there is no internet. So even though that I'm connected to the wireless, but the firewall of the hotspot is stopping me to go to the internet because I'm not authenticated. All right, so that's something you have to uh, remember. You see, there is 11 transmitted and there is 11 errors, 100% zero packet. But what about WhatsApp? Before I do that, let me just uh, show you again that uh, um, if we go again to uh, the uh, phone, so let me just show you, um, if we go to the phone, so you can see here that the, the wireless, it has this exclamation mark, that means it is not really connected and there is no 4G or 5G, you see? So I do on this phone, I do have two lines, one which is my personal and one which is my business. I'm gonna write from my personal to my business and see if it's gonna work all right so now after everything is being configured um, so uh, let's try to do a test i will go for, i do have on my phone two lines i have the sim card which is for my business and sim card for my uh, private so i'm gonna go to my private one now i'm gonna go from my private i will say here uh, do you get me so i'm writing from my private to my business do you get me and then i see that uh, yes uh, this one has uh, received it. Now, um, we go to the business now account and our answer, I will say, yes, I do. And we look, here we go. So the, also it is uh, going without any problem. So you can see it is working perfectly on uh, the uh, business uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp business and also on the uh, normal WhatsApp. And if you look uh, really, I'm still 
on uh, if I show you now so let's uh, now we can put to the phone so you see that the, still the ping is not working so uh, the ping is uh, not working to the internet to see five transmitted five uh, errors and you can see that I didn't uh, connect to the uh, you see I did not connect to the Wi-Fi uh, uh, or authenticated onto the hotspot and you see also that my mobile data is uh, off so this one the mobile data over here it is off so I'm not using any 5G and you can see that my wireless has an exclamation mark and if you look inside of the wireless you can see that I'm on the mic so this way you can provide for your community to be able to use WhatsApp even though that they connect to the hotspot without authentication but you still provide them possibility to do uh, WhatsApp uh, messages because uh, calls it's not gonna work and video conference is not gonna work only messages and this is something uh, sometimes people like to use it because once someone connect to the hotspot you want to use the internet you can write uh, to the uh, person who's managing the hotspot you can write him you say I want a voucher then he can buy a voucher and then it ends up to be a business so this is all what I wanted to show you in this uh, video um, I hope that uh, it was uh, Great for you to know how you can uh, do the WhatsApp uh, uh, permission uh, for someone uh, who just connected to the hotspot without authentication to be able to go to the WhatsApp. If you like my way of teaching, again, I really ask you please to subscribe to my channel because if I look to my channel, I see I do have thousands and thousands and thousands of few viewers to my videos on my YouTube channel, but I do not have all of them subscribed to my channel. It's very important to me that you subscribe to my channel because this will help me and also will help the YouTube algorithm to show more my videos to more people than uh, I can keep doing videos that I'm doing. I thank you very much for the time you spent watching this video and see you uh, next time.